What's going on guys? It's Robster and I'm here in the R&R. Got my boy Galoob. Football season is officially over. But we had a little breaking news this week. Trevor Lawrence had his pro day. He looked like God. He looked like we thought he did. Some scouts are saying he's better coming into the league than Andrew Luck was when he came out of Stanford. But, but, he's scheduled next week to have shoulder surgery on his left non-throwing shoulder. shoulder and he could be out for up to five to six months. Obviously, it's going to hurt his... Well, here's the thing. I don't think he's going to have trouble. He's going to be into mm -hmm. the playbook. Mm -hmm. He's going to be learning all of that. Um, physically, where does that put him, though, when mm -hmm. he shows up walking into an NFL game? See, my thought was he's possibly going to miss minicamp. He's going to miss OTAs. He's going to miss training camp. He's going to miss couple preseason games if preseason exists this year mm -hmm. um that's a lot to throw on to a rookie quarterback coming into the nfl um i mean if we're gonna sit here and act like trevor lawrence is the second coming i mean justin herbert didn't have that last year joe burrow didn't have that last year mm -hmm. these guys didn't have that last mm -hmm. year and they look just fine so my assumption would be that trevor lawrence will be just fine now is there going to be bumps in the road mm -hmm. yeah burrow and herbert both had them Mm -hmm. I think that's going to happen anyway. Yeah. I just think um, – I just wonder – so the Jacksonville Jaguars got the number one pick. Their new head coach is Urban Meyer. Mm -hmm. He's got ties to Ohio State. Does he have any heartstrings pulling? Do I take Justin Fields? Justin Fields beat the hell out of Trevor Lawrence in the playoffs. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Trevor Lawrence still goes number one. It's just kind of scary that you're drafting a guy first overall. You're putting all your eggs into the basket of a guy that's not even on your team yet, and he's also already being signed up to get his shoulder cut into. If you're a Jaguars fan and Urban Meyer takes Justin Fields first overall, right. I would burn couches in the damn street. Right. The only quarterback that I personally like in this draft is Trevor Lawrence. Mm -hmm. That's not to say these other guys can't develop. Right. This is not the boom, boom class of last year right? from my eyes. I just, uh, to see a quarterback, um, when you say non-throwing shoulder, you think that doesn't do anything. Like, you don't need it to throw the ball. You're mm -hmm. a quarterback. You know. You mm -hmm. need that back shoulder when you're rotating through. Like, that's, you know. Well, I didn't, I didn't see what the surgery What's the surgery? Is this rotator cuff? What's, I didn't what's see. going on? They're, they're being really hush-hush on the exact details of it. I mean, it's not as I mean, it's more important oblique-wise on your backside there because that's what's pulling your motion through. Mm -hmm. That's what's getting you that rotation, especially running left side mm -hmm. trying to throw across because you have to get set and you have to really put a hard twist on your body to get squared up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously, any, any injury is going to scare you. Yeah. Do I think this is a big deal? Well, who the hell would know? We don't even know what it is. <laughs> All right, so Trevor's right-handed. So when he takes his drop, that left shoulder is kind of going to be exposed a mm -hmm. little bit. So I just wonder, like mentally, like mentally in his head, in defender's head, you know. Is he going to be trying to protect it instead of playing loose and free? Are defenders going to be targeting it? That's a question that I have a lot of times with injuries. Yeah. Is it going to affect your playing style? Because you shouldn't be thinking about right. getting hit, getting hurt, any yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. Is that going to affect his mindset when he's rolling out of the pocket, when he's trying to step up and slide left, slide right, whatever? Like, And I'm thinking about know. it from a defensive end's point of view, a pass rusher's point of view. Like, It sounds really shitty, but... Does that paint a bullseye? When somebody knows somebody's got a, a you know, an ankle, a knee, mm -hmm. like, this is NFL. This is big boy league. You're playing for all the chips. If you can knock Trevor Lawrence out... Like you're going to do it, whether you say that or not. Obviously, you don't, don't want to be. I don't you don't want to be Gate. You yeah. don't want to be the Saints, but which I mean, is which is ridiculous. Obviously, I don't know how how I always thought football was yeah. played. You want to hurt that other guy. You want to hit him as hard as you can. Obviously, you don't want to ki like kill a guy or hurt him right. for life. But you want to hit him with everything you've got. This is a gladiator sport. This isn't flag football yeah. on Sunday after church. Like, I'm just throwing a name out here. I don't know who the hell the Jacksonville Jaguars backup quarterback is going to be this year. But if you're going into the game saying, hey, if I can hit Trevor's shoulder one time and I don't got to play against Trevor anymore, I can play against Blaine Gabbert. Hmm. I'm going to try to hit Trevor so I can get Blaine Gabbert into the game. I mean, you know. 
I 100% agree. Yeah. And I would have that same mindset as a defender. Right. Sorry. I mean, I, you're not allowed to say that as a player. We, we're not playing. I don't care. I can say that. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. Trevor Lawrence still going number one. It's just, it's just something to think about, something to ponder. I see no reason that that would affect the number one draft pick. And I, I know the way that NFL GMs and owners and coaches build their teams these days. Uh, once Trevor's drafted, that starts the clock. Boom. Jacksonville Jaguars are going to have five-year window after they select Trevor to win a quick Super Bowl. They're going to have a mountain of cap space, a mountain of draft picks, and a rookie quarterback on a bullshit contract. You have five years to win that first trophy. You've, so, got to, you've got to make the right moves with the moves you've got. And you don't want to miss any of Trevor's first 16 games because that sets him back. Year two, you want him to be rolling. Mm-hmm. I agree. What are we seeing? All right, let's 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 throw this. Maybe Urban Meyer will take Justin Fields out. Assuming that Trevor Lawrence goes number one, who's the second quarterback off the board? <sighs> Your mind. You're the GM. So you, are, you are the Jets GM right, right. now. So there's five quarterbacks going to go in the first round, okay? Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and Mac Jones. Now, we both think that after Trevor, we don't want any of these guys in the first. I actually wouldn't want any of them. I would, as a GM, I would be exploring my trade options right. to see what I can get out. Right. And if I'm the Jets, does that mean you're rolling with Sam Darnold this year? I'm okay with that. I don't know if you are. I would roll with Sam Darnold over any of these guys. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm against the grain. The one that I would want the most out of these four options that you're giving me, you're telling me i got to pick one of these four, I'm going with probably the guy that's last on most teams' board. I'm personally going with Mac Jones because I like the way he progresses through reads. You're going to put him on the treadmill and get rid of that beer guy he's got going on? (laughs) Peyton Manning was never the most in-shape guy. You're right, but I don't think we could compare Mac Jones to Peyton Manning. Now, I do like Mac's game. Right. Uh, you're right on that. Right. Um, actually, I think my pick here would be Trey Lance. I think he's pretty underrated. I watched a couple of his games. Mm-hmm. I like what he's doing. Obviously, he's a little bit raw coming right. out of North, uh, North Dakota State, um, not playing against that top-tier competition. But honestly, at this point, I, D2 football is quality football. Yeah. Um, there's so many schools in general and so many athletes. A lot of these guys get looked over. Maybe they didn't have the grades. Um, maybe they went to a small school. Maybe they went to a two-way school. Got Who in knows? trouble. Sure, anything. But from eyes on the guy, I really like Trey Lance's potential. He came from the same school that Carson Wentz came from, if y'all forgot. That's wild that he went to ND State, too. Yeah. Um, Justin Fields, what's your thoughts on I, Justin haven't liked Justin Fields. I don't like Justin Fields. I don't like Ohio State quarterbacks in general. They are surrounded with immense talent. Now, I could say the same about Mac Jones. Same about Trevor. Uh, yeah, but he really changes the game. You saw the game they played without Trevor. Still put up 40-something points. Right. So, yes, you're <laughs> – now i got to defend myself. Um, I, maybe it's just Ohio State style of play that they run. I don't know because you think Ohio State, they run a lot of under center plays. Right. I just, I am so far out on Ohio State quarterbacks right. um, and watching Justin Fields. You now he's got a cannon for an arm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just don't. Eyes on the guy again. I'm not saying he doesn't have potential. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't want to be the guy taking the chance on that. So Justin Fields came out, destroys Clemson in the national championship. He made himself millions of dollars in that game. But for me, watching the game, I was watching it from a scout mentality. I saw the same thing that I saw when Dwayne Haskins was at Ohio State. He wants the guy to separate from the corner before he throws the ball. In the NFL, you just don't have time to do that. I mean, can he develop in the future and start throwing guys open? Maybe. But I don't got time to wait for that. I want to see right now, can you do it? Can you go through reads? I, th- I think that's one of my biggest issues, and you hit the nail on the head with Haskins there. Because um, Haskins also has a oh, – welcome to Pittsburgh, by the way, Dwayne. Um, you just like to throw to open guys, and you have a big arm. I get it. Just – I mean, if you want to go to the titty bar, stop taking pictures. Um, same thing with Mac Jones, though. He's throwing to these guys who can get that kind of Wide separation. Open. So it's hard to make a judgment – based on these guys playing these guys Mm -hmm. because you're not playing against NFL DBs. It's so hard. Now, 
looking at game tape, you can see what kind of throws, where their eyes are, Mm -hmm. and what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I think Justin Fields looks for that guy that's standing by himself. Right. And that's just so rare in the NFL. Mm. The, 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 the least guy on this list that I would touch is Zach Wilson. I, I, I haven't seen enough of him. I think the level of competition is trash. You know, you can't even beat a Coastal Carolina football team who didn't even have a damn program 20 years ago. I mean, I, I'm not I, touching Zach Wilson with a 10-foot pole. I don't want Zach Wilson either. And after everything I've read about his attitude – um, this guy wasn't even voted a captain on his team. Yeah, it was a team vote, and your quarterback's not your captain. Uh, that that says immediately red flags leadership wise right. to me. I also think that the Jets have held on to Darnold because they're not sold on any of these four guys, and I think they're going to sit there or they're going to trade out of that pick, keep Sam Darnold for at least another year, accumulate picks. What people don't talk about with uh, Trevor, um, I watched his entire pro day. He doesn't have the same arm. Josh Allen does, but he threw like a 72-yard pass during his pro day, mm. hit the guy on the money. His arm is huge, and that you don't hear that a lot with Trevor. You hear accuracy and mobility and, you know, goes through reads and well, that, Andrew I mean, Luck. Those are the things that really separate you anyway because anyone can have a huge arm and throw mm-hmm. the ball really, really far. Right. NFL quarterbacks have to have that accuracy aspect and – like we're, we continue to say because it's really important mm-hmm. being able to throw that guy open mm-hmm. and throw it that .7 seconds before he makes his break. Because he's going to be covered if right. you throw it half a second too late, and that's when you get the undercut, out route, whatever. I mean, don't get us wrong. Every quarterback in the NFL has an arm. Obviously, they play in the NFL. But there's, a, there's an NFL quarterback arm, and then there's that Josh Allen – you know, uh, Jared Goff's got a Jared damn Goff, cannon on him. Um, Trevor from his pro day, it looks like he's right there with him. Mm-hmm. Um, like Dante Culpepper, Donovan McNabb, players like that. They they have like the next level arm. <laughs> Jeff, George, even go to Jeff George, Jeff George, Gary Collins. Collins. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, those are those are special arms. Yeah. Um, but what separates what separates a Super Bowl winner? Yeah. With that. And the guy who goes 4-12 and 12 with Indianapolis in 1994 or whatever the mm-hmm. fucking year it was is the accuracy and that ability to make those kind of plays. Mm-hmm. Consensus, he's taking Mac Jones. I'm taking Trey Lance. We don't want Zach Wilson or Justin Fields. Yeah, uh, that's if you're forcing me to take a quarterback in the first round when Trevor's already gone. If this it was up I'm to doing. me, I'm trading back. I'm trading out. Hey, you want this pick? Well, okay, what do you got? What's on the shelf? I want to take it off the shelf. You want, Can you give it to me, please? If I was one of these teams that needs a quarterback in this year, in this free agency class, this draft class, I am pushing all my chips to the middle of the table. I'm picking up my cell phone. I'm calling Pete Carroll. I'm saying, hey, I hear there's uh, some tension between Russ and you guys right now. What do you want? Here's a blank check. You can have everything I have. Give me Russell Wilson. If the Seahawks trade Russell Wilson and if the Texans trade Deshaun Watson, both of those stadiums should be burned down. They shouldn't be allowed to play football anymore. You don't get players like that. You don't. Ah, I think Russ wants out. I don't care. Well, that's our thoughts on the uh, other quarterbacks in the 2021 NFL Draft, plus a little health update on Trevor. Like always, we appreciate you guys. You got a sleeper? Let us know. Like always, let us get that like, share, follow. See y'all. Drink till I throw up, throw up, and you know, you know, my mind is stuck, I'm puff, I'm puffing, you know, you know, I just don't give a fuck, here we go, yeah.